The world of military aviation is constantly evolving, with countries striving to develop more advanced and capable aircraft to maintain air superiority and enhance their national security. One of the latest entries in this high-stakes arena is Turkey's Khan fighter jet, which has been making headlines with claims that it is superior to the American F-35. These assertions come from none other than Temel Kotil, the general manager of Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI. To understand the significance of these claims and the potential impact of the Khan fighter jet, we need to delve deeper into its development, capabilities, and the broader geopolitical context. The idea for a Turkish-made fighter jet was born out of necessity and ambition. In December 2010, Turkey's Defense Industry Executive Committee SSIK, made a strategic decision to design, develop, and manufacture a national next-generation air superiority fighter. This decision was driven by the need to replace the Turkish Air Force's aging fleet of F-16 Fighting Falcons and to reduce dependency on foreign military equipment. In 2011, Turkey's Undersecretariat for Defense Industries SSM, now known as the Defense Industry Agency, signed an agreement with Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, for the conceptual development of the new fighter jet. This phase was intended to outline the basic capabilities, mechanical and electronic systems, and overall feasibility of the project. The initial funding for this phase was approximately $20 million. The project gained momentum when Thai partnered with Britain's BAE Systems in 2017, signing a $125 million deal to develop the next-generation fighter. This collaboration brought valuable expertise and technology to the table, accelerating the development process. The urgency of developing an indigenous fighter jet increased dramatically in 2019 when Turkey was expelled from the F-35 program by the United States. This expulsion was a consequence of Turkey's decision to purchase the Russian S-400 missile defense system, which the U.S and other NATO allies feared could compromise the security of the F-35 program. This geopolitical rift highlighted the risks of over-reliance on foreign defense systems and underscored the importance of having an independent defense capability. The Khan project thus became more than just a technological endeavor, it became a symbol of Turkey's determination to achieve self-reliance in defense. The Khan, initially known as the TFX, is designed as a stealthy, twin-engine, all-weather air superiority fighter. Its design and capabilities have been compared to the U.S. F-22 Raptor and the Russian Su-57. The first Khan prototype is powered by General Electric F-110 G-129 engines, the same used in Turkey's F-16s. However, there are plans to transition to domestically produced engines by 2028 to 2029 further reducing dependency on foreign technology. The aircraft's design incorporates stealth features to minimize its radar cross-section. It has an aluminum nose, a titanium center fuselage, and surfaces coated with radar-absorbing materials. These features are aimed at making the Khan difficult to detect by enemy radars. One of the standout claims made by Thai's general manager, Temel Kotil, is that the Khan can carry a payload of up to 10 tons of weaponry. This is significantly more than the F-35's payload capacity of approximately 6 tons. This increased payload capacity allows the Khan to carry a wider array of armaments, including advanced air-to-air -air missiles like the Meteor and indigenous Turkish weapons such as the Bozdogan and Gokdogan missiles. The Khan is equipped with cutting-edge avionics and mission systems designed to provide superior situational awareness and combat effectiveness. It features an advanced glass cockpit, voice command AI autopilot, a helmet-mounted sight, and a suite of fused sensors. These systems enable the pilot to manage a complex array of information and make rapid, informed decisions in combat. The radar system, developed by Turkish firm Aselsan, utilizes advanced gallium nitride technology. This technology is known for its high power efficiency and resistance to electronic jamming, making it a formidable tool in modern air combat scenarios. Stealth and speed are crucial attributes for modern fighter jets. The Khan is designed with these priorities in mind. Its stealth features, 
including radar-absorbing materials and an aerodynamic profile, aim to make it difficult to detect by enemy radars. Supercruise capability, the ability to fly at supersonic speeds without using afterburners, is another significant feature of the Khan. This capability allows the aircraft to maintain high speeds for extended periods without consuming excessive amounts of fuel, enhancing its operational range and endurance. When comparing the Khan to the F-35, it is essential to consider their design philosophies and intended roles. The F-35 Lightning II, developed by Lockheed Martin, is a single-engine, multi-role stealth fighter designed for a variety of missions, including air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance. It is a key component of a network-centric warfare system, providing unmatched situational awareness and interoperability with allied forces. The Khan, on the other hand, is primarily focused on air superiority and strike missions. Its twin-engine configuration provides more thrust and redundancy, which can be advantageous in certain combat scenarios. The increased payload capacity of the Khan allows it to carry more armaments, potentially giving it an edge in specific mission profiles. However, the F-35's advanced avionics, integrated sensor suite, and sophisticated electronic warfare capabilities give it a significant technological edge. Its widespread deployment among NATO allies also provides a robust support network and extensive operational experience. The successful development and deployment of the Khan would have profound implications for Turkey's national defense and economy. It would reduce Turkey's dependence on foreign suppliers, particularly in light of recent geopolitical tensions and embargoes. This self-reliance is a critical aspect of Turkey's broader strategy to assert its independence and strengthen its position in regional and global geopolitics. Economically, the Khan project is expected to boost Turkey's defense industry, fostering technological advancements and creating jobs. The development of domestic engines and other critical technologies will also contribute to the growth of local industries, stimulating the broader economy. Turkey aims to export the Khan to other countries, particularly in Asia and the Gulf region. Successful export deals would enhance Turkey's influence in these regions and contribute to the dynamics of the global defense market. However, this will depend on the Khan's performance, reliability, and the geopolitical relationships Turkey can leverage. The emergence of Turkey's Khan fighter jet represents a significant milestone in the country's journey towards defense self-reliance. While the Khan boasts impressive capabilities and ambitious claims, it still faces challenges in matching the comprehensive technological edge and operational experience of the F-35. However, its development underscores Turkey's determination to become a key player in the global aerospace industry. The Khan's future success will depend on Turkey's ability to deliver on its promises, the geopolitical landscape, and its strategic partnerships. Regardless of these outcomes, the Khan project has already made a substantial impact, symbolizing Turkey's ambitions and capabilities in the modern aerospace arena. Thank you for joining us on this detailed exploration of Turkey's Khan fighter jet. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. We look forward to reading your thoughts and comments below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.